It's a modern day Robin Hood about a bunch of uh, young people that live in the projects of uh, New Nottingham, a small city that lives in the shadow of a big city. In our case, it's Mercia. You know, they live at the corner of Sherwood and Forest. The sheriff of New Nottingham is corrupt and violent. And there's a guy named John Prince who wants to tear down the projects and build condos. Madame Mayor, let me buy Sherwood. He wants to take over by kicking these guys out, you know, by getting rid of their home, their culture. We come together and we decide to try to fight. I did a lot of uh, martial arts training for the role too. Boxing, uh, stunt training, and then weapons training, and then trying to hit the weights. That was a tough part. My favorite scene to shoot thus far, it's a fight scene that happens between uh, Robin, Lil John, myself, and the sheriff in my penthouse. That was really challenging and just an amazing feeling to put your body through something like that and just have to deliver under pressure. You know, the clock is ticking and you have a weapon in your hand. <laughs> so a big component of Robin Hood is that the Merry Men sing. The music that they make is a part of the legend. We made them rappers. I love music. I love to dance. When I get to put on the mask and poncho, I just, my rapper persona, and I just go for it. It's just a vibe. This is how the hood talks to the world. They don't, there's no PR, there's no Instagram page, but through their music and through those music videos, that's how we stay connected and in touch with the rest of the world. I had been listening to a lot of ballet funk with Brazilian hip hop. It sounds like hip hop, but there's something different about it. And it's not Caribbean and it's not, you can't place it in the same way if I was doing reggae or made it soca, or if I made it any of those other genres, you go, oh, that's just that. And then on top of it, to take the Portuguese and use that as a template for their flow. Sure what is home now. You know we running there. It's a different kind of hip hop. The wardrobe is probably one of the coolest aspects of this show, along with the music. The first time I had a fitting, I just thought, wow, like this is much. I really think that audiences will connect with the swag in the show. Market got in there, Box Raw, Koala, Get Fresh. 100 Miles, Harry White in LA. That is from Good Art Hollywood. Everyone looks great. Everyone's got great clothes. That fits their character. As soon as I put on like this robe, even down to the shoes, the jewelry, the necklaces, it really, I get it. I feel, I feel them now. It's fun, it's immature, it's childish, it's mature, it's adult all at the same time. People are probably not ready for how much fun it's gonna be. There's something in the show for everybody. There's action and romance and drama and real issues that affect people in the real world in a way that I think is meaningful but also charming. And if you know how the system works, we give you, a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a few of those nods, because um, the system's and I'm waiting for an entire societal collapse, but that's another story. <laughs>